the, the, the part that I uh, just is excruciating to me is simply when we're mean to them. Hmm. In other words, when we, and in a, in a, in a, I've written about it and talked about it, the chainsaw dilemma is I'll get with a bunch of middle-aged firefighters and they'll start pissing and moaning about kids that we're hiring. And they'll say, I got a kid, I got this damn little kid now, and he, he doesn't even know how to start a chainsaw. I'm thinking, so what? Now, this guy is obviously a chainsaw whisperer or whatever the hell the guys that run chainsaws are. I don't know. Like your son-in-law. Yeah, yeah. He, they know how to deal with chainsaws. Okay, yeah. I said, if you want somebody to do something, what should you do? Well, I guess train them. Wow, what if that caught on? But they make a value judgment by describing a person or they define a person and, and then they create an expectation that will put that person at a disadvantage in a system where nobody ever leaves. Right. So if that kid, let me, let me call him that, and I mean that affectionately, stays in the system 40 years, that guy will always put him at a disadvantage because when he had been here two weeks, he couldn't figure out a chainsaw. Well, and if you trained him for two hours on the chainsaw, he could start it as well as this old salt did. 